For a flighted bird with fully developed wings, wild turkeys spend a lot of their lives on the ground, walking, running around. This gives their legs a reputation for being tough and stringy, leading most hunters to discard the meat, and you're wasting a big opportunity. We're gonna show you how to cook these things so that they're absolutely fall off the bone tender, delicious, and juicy. I'm holding this thing together with these tongs because it's already falling off the bone. Stick with us. All right, most of the butchering process is already done here when we remove these quarters. And it's very, very simple just to pull the skin and the feathers back and expose these legs. Just takes a couple of minutes more to extract this extra, extra piece of meat that you're absolutely gonna love. So here we go. We're gonna go ahead just for the sake of, I don't know, size in our Instant Pot because you can't fit this whole hind quarter in there um, without it kind of sticking out the top of the pot that I've got. So we're gonna separate the legs from the thigh. And you can kind of see the outline of the turkey leg where it joins the thigh. And there's just this little ball joint in here that you can feel with your finger. So we're just gonna take our knife and separate along this line right here, and then kind of press our knife into that joint, pop that ball socket loose, and separate the thigh from the leg. Now you can season your meat however you want. We're just gonna hit this with salt, pepper, and some PS seasoning wild game. These are skinless legs and thighs. And so I'm gonna go ahead and sear these on the sear and saute setting in this pressure cooker to try to keep some of that moisture in during the rest of the cooking process. And I'm gonna use about a tablespoon of butter and then we're just gonna add our turkey, brown it up, and then we'll add the rest of our ingredients. already smelling so good in this kitchen. Once these things are brown, I'm gonna remove them from the heat and just set them aside. All right, so even after separating from the thighs, those turkey legs were still too big to fit in the Instant Pot, so we're gonna give them the same exact treatment in the pan. Start first with the aromatics. Let those brown up a little bit. My kids are starting to get for teenage years. I know they can put a hurting on the grocery bill, so we're gonna have to step up our hunting game, hunting and harvest game, as those kids get older and start parading their friends through this house. Can't tolerate any loss, that's going back in the pan. Let's get these going. I hope that this pan's big enough. Awesome, yeah. Here we go. All right, so we are ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and add our thighs back into the pot over here. And we've already got the onions and the garlic uh, that were sauteed in here with the thighs. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these back. We're gonna reach behind me here and grab the legs. Oh, how's that looking? Add nice. those in here as well. You know, I bet those would've fit in this, in this pot to saute. So I'm gonna add the onions in too. Make sure we get all this goodness. It's all going in here. I'm gonna go ahead and add just a couple of sprigs of fresh rosemary right on top here. And then we're just gonna cover this meat with chicken broth. Now we seal. I'm gonna set this to the chicken setting and cook this for two hours. They would be tough and stringy if you cook them quickly. You've gotta cook them slow. You can do this in a crock pot. Instant pot's a heck of a lot quicker. Two hours, gonna be pull off the bone. While your turkey legs cook, you can work on your sides. We opted for roasted red potatoes and carrots, coated in olive oil and dusted with salt and pepper. Spread evenly on a sheet pan and bake on 400 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. We decided to serve the turkey on a bed of garlic buttered rice with lime juice. Try to time everything so that it's done about the same time. You're just in time for the best part. Come here. Come here. Watch, you wanna bump this thing? You wanna bump this thing? All right, bump it that way. Just bump it that way. Why? Nothing will happen. Why? Nothing will happen. Why? <laughs> Look here. <laughs> Once your rice is finished, gently fluff with a fork before serving. I need a fluffer. I need a fluffer. We need to hire a fluffer. My first employee will be not an editor, a fluffer. but a fluffer. Come on, I want my turkey. 
take it forever. I'm gonna make some homemade white gravy to go on here. About a half a tablespoon of butter into some milk. We'll come back to that in a second. Let's see how we did here. It's finally done venting all that steam. Ooh, the big reveal. I see bare bone. That means that the meat is already separating, y'all. Look at that. It's already falling off. I'm gonna have to go fish it out of this, out of this broth in here because it's already falling off the bone. I told you, I told you, you don't have to throw these things away. Here we go. Look at that. I mean, I'm holding this thing together with these tongs because it's trying to fall apart in my hand. Outstanding. Look at this. Look, I'm just gonna bump it with these tongs. Look at this. Y'all don't think that's tender? You think wild turkey legs and thighs are gonna be tough and stringy? You better think again. Don't waste that meat. Don't throw it out. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna come over here just with a couple of forks and I'm just gonna shred this and put, look at that, you see it? Do you see, do you see this? Do you see this? Do you see this? Just falling away from the bone just like that. Look at that, look there. I'm gonna separate it from the bone and I'm gonna separate it from these tendons and everything in here just to make sure you don't get anything that's undesirable in your meal. But my goodness gracious, look at that. See, this is what I'm gonna take out. Is those little bits of tendon and stuff like that. Get that out of there. But it just separates so cleanly. Look, it fell right off that tendon. You see that? Now I'm gonna go ahead and plate this thing. But this, you could do any way that you want. You could make like a, a turkey pot pie. You could eat it by itself. Um, you could do all kinds of stuff with this shredded dark meat off this turkey. While you finish your meal prep, we like to let the turkey rest back in the broth. Yes, sir. Afton's probably having a difficult time getting this on camera right now because probably not able to film while well, she's so attracted to me from what I just did with those turkey legs. <laughs> Back. Stir your gravy constantly over medium heat while it thickens. You might have to add more milk or flour to get the right consistency. Be careful not to make it too thick and don't cook it too long. Fellas, make sure you get out there in the woods. Bring home some wild game. Cook for your families. You'll be glad you did. That's hot. Is there anything in the world that gravy does not make better? I'm still looking for something. We're just gonna add just, a, I mean, a tiny splash of salt on top of this. See how easy that was. A little bit of black pepper right on here. And I'm gonna add a little bit of peppercorns, red uh, pepper flakes, because that just makes everything better. Just a couple of these ones. There we go. Guys, I'm gonna tell you what, it's criminal to throw away the legs and thighs off a wild turkey. Not tough, not stringy, absolutely tender and delicious if you cook them slow. Use a crock pot, use a pressure cooker. They work in so many recipes and with Thanksgiving upon us, who doesn't need some more ways to cook some wild bird? We'll see you guys next time. Thank you for being with us. God bless you. Hmm. <coughs> Special appearance from Doc Holliday. Mm -hmm.